Hey, it's David Griffin with SCT Performance and Bully Dog. I'm going to be showing you how to create a histogram using LiveLink Gen 2. All right, with your LiveLink Gen 2 software open, we want to choose, I want to open a data log file. We're going to look at an existing data log that I have on my computer here. All right, you can see we've got the data open here. I like to go ahead and hit max and zoom out on all of the data that we've logged in this data log. So up at, top, up at the top here under histograms, you'll see a little button that says add histogram. So after clicking on that, you can see we have the option to add and configure a new histogram or open an existing histogram. So for the purpo purposes of this how-to video, we're gonna go ahead and choose a histogram I already have that matches the data we have logged. So here you can see I have one named GT350 math histogram. So we're gonna open it. And this, it takes you right to the settings on creating the histogram or changing the current histogram. So up top we have histogram type. So the default is two to one, and then there's simple one to one. So two to one is when you have X, Y, and Z data. And simple would be when you may just have Y data Y and Z data like the math transfer function I'm going to show you here. So your main data that you want to populate in the table will be under here, data, main title. You can see we have short term field trim chose. So under item, if you want to change that, you, you click on the box over here under item and it gives you the list of the PIDs that you've logged in your data log. So we could change this to anything we want to see, but for the purposes of this histogram, we want to see short-term field trims. So we're going to exit out of that since we already have short-term field trim chosen. And then you can see the units here is percent. Next, we want to choose our actual row data. So for a math transfer function, we can choose math period, math hertz, whichever you want to use. For this one, we've chose math hertz. So just like above, we go over here to the right if we wanted to change that and choose whichever parameter we want for our, our row data. So we already have it chosen. And then down here we have our labels. So this is the, the row label data that you wanna populate. So what you can typically do is go into Advantage and copy this out of Advantage and paste it in here. And then you can set up different precision, max width, max height. Um, you can see we have two decimal places for pre precision. And once that's created, we can go to a, up here up to the top left and click on histogram. You can see your histogram is actually here. So we wanna go ahead and choose average data. That's typically what I look at. And this is actually a data log of driving on the dyno and then doing a dyno pool. So if I go ahead and hit play here, it'll populate the data in the histogram from our data log. You can see it running through there. So when you're done, at the end, your histogram is fully populated with your data. So this is the data you can use to go back to your calibration and advantage and make the necessary changes for field trims in your math transfer function. So that's an example of a pretty basic histogram. Uh, this is a pretty commonly used histogram for, for people installing aftermarket intakes on their vehicles. Hope this is helpful.